Good morning, good morning, and welcome to day five and episode five of these cruise vlogs from the beautiful Norwegian Epic. Here is what's coming up. My chocolate sausage keeps turning to attention. Good morning guys and welcome once again to the beautiful Norwegian Epic. Today we are in Barcelona. There are lots of fun Gaudi places to take you today. So why don't you come along and join us. It's gonna be a fun old day. So first up on our Gaudi day then is Casa Baglio and as you can see it's 8.15 already there are people waiting around to get in. I'm a little bit fascinated by this building. It keeps drawing me in. I'm pretty sure this is a place where you go up to the roof and see the chimneys, but I guess we'll find out if it is or it isn't. So, as we head inside, let's climb the stairs and investigate Gaudi's living and dining spaces. Uh, as we head to the top of the stairs, let's just pan around and then up, and then let's have a look at these intricate skylights here and as you can see this is the replica fireplace and look how light and airy and how fascinating these door frames are with stained glass everywhere there's mirrors and windows all of beautiful colors surrounding this whole space and impressive chandeliers and you can see that this really was designed to bring the outside in it's really really light and airy and they've also got specially designed guillotine windows to let the air in for it to circulate all around really 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 bright in this room really impressive space I'm loving this already. So let's take a look outside. Let's go on to the forecourt at the back and look at the back of the property. So not anywhere near as impressive as the front of the house from the exterior. However, you've got all of these really pretty sculptures all around. So every inch of this property is interesting and intricate and really lovely design. His mind, I just don't know how his mind works. It's just incredible. Everywhere you step, this place really is just out of this world. And Gaudi, oh my, this is an excellent day so far. I recommend you do this. Time to step inside this blue room with the crazy spheres all around. Quite odd. It's crazy. That's just the weirdest ever. Uh, 
and you can't come to Casa Bayo without coming up on the roof. It is quite an incredible sight and so lucky that we had a beautiful day in which to view it as well. This place is just something else. It is breathtaking. I absolutely am in awe. These are all chains. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh my God. incredible I cannot believe that Wow so here we are at a quick stop uh, we're just looking at the exterior of the building this is Casa Padrera it's not as colorful as Casa Bayo but I think just as impressive really like that what do you guys think comment below Casa Bayo or Casa Baderera let me know so we've moved on to our third stop and our second proper stop of the day and we have arrived at Park Guell I'm really excited about this one. Um, just have a little wander around to start with. Let's uh, show you the view that I can see right now. That's our guide, by the way. So 
um, from a temperature point of view, it's, um, it's 30 today. So, um, what's that? 28 is 82. So it's about 85 degrees, 86 degrees. So, um, yeah, it's um, cooler for walking around in. And uh, you probably won't see this, but I can see our ship right in the distance. And also my next, I can see my current ship and my next ship. They look like they're side by side. And to the right is the wonder of the seas. I really don't think you'll be able to see that, but um, who knows? If it's on a big screen, you may be able to. down to the square now. for the salamander. There he is. It's a nice view up. Beautiful. people here today. I don't know why I'm surprised but um, yeah there's huge numbers well worth a visit Parkwell if you haven't been and you're coming to Barcelona I most certainly recommend it and um, we've got a bit of free time now we're leaving here at one um, and then it's on to Sagrada Familia, um, the crowning glory. I'm quite happy with here, to be honest. It's beautiful. So we should be back on board by about 2.30, which will be nice. Okay, I will 
wasn't expecting something quite as grand and beautiful as this for the first house. Because we know a little bit of Gaudi, we can guess what this is Gaudi because it's, uh, it's also very free somehow. Yeah. yeah. So it was, uh, uh, Gaudi was absolutely interpreting everything. Yeah? There she is. Sagrada Familia. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a lovely vantage point of Sagrada Familia. My God. Okay guys, we are sailing and I just wanted to point out something. Um, a very strange phenomenon. Since we left Rome, or actually since we arrived into Rome, I've just seen something that I've not seen yet. There's some clouds up there. What's that all about? Such craziness. Good evening, guys. So, as a special treat for all that walking we've done since we arrived in Rome on Sunday, we are treating ourselves to a special meal at Le Bistro. It is one of the nicest restaurants I've been to, and the only other time that I've been, I had to rush off very quickly to see Jersey Boys on the Bliss. So, it'll be nice to take the time to fully enjoy the meal. Um, let's see how the Mel felt about it. Le Bistro. Discuss. Very lovely. Looks incredible. And the menu looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. Um, let's show you the menu, shall we? You cheeky minxes. Mm -hmm. 
I can't wait for the desserts to come out and uh, I want to find out if I can have more than one dessert. So starters have arrived. Um, we have got absolutely identical starters and absolutely identical main course. However, I'm the greedy pig with two starters. So I have the choice of either two starters and one dessert or one starter and two desserts. And very unlike me, I chose the two starters after having a quick look at the dessert menu, purely because I absolutely love the French onion soup here. But I also wanted the chai. But I also wanted to try the escargot. So there are the cheeky little garlicky buttery snails. Oh, very juicy, very juicy. And there's Mel that's up in his hand. Is it really funny? There she is, looking very pleased with herself. Uh, so I'm guessing that my soup will follow after this, so Mel's going to be sat there waiting a bit longer than normal. <laughs> so I'll just have to eat quick. Uh, right, let's tuck in. Look at this garlicky, snaily goodness. Quick, quick, Mel's having a 35 minutes. Quick. Do you want to describe your snails for me on Oasis again? This is completely lost it, guys. <laughs> what was the... <laughs> what was the, the flavour sensation like with your escargot on <laughs> Oasis? Overpowering. It was ooh overpowering. <laughs> anyway, back to tonight. How <coughs> was and where the escargot here? Well, that's where the sun went down. Less overpowering. Oh, she's back to her old okay. descriptive self, <laughs> I can see. <laughs> So yeah, they were they were really nice, uh, nice bit of butter, garlicky goodness, um, really nice and moist and tender. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that, and I'm looking forward to the French onion. So the escargot has been and gone, and I now have the delicious French onion soup. I'm probably not going to eat all of it because I don't want Mel to be waiting all night for her mane to come out. But I'm looking forward to tucking in. Um, I also don't want to eat all of it as well because I don't want to be full up and uh, have run out of steam before I finish my mane and more importantly my dessert. So I'm going to tuck in. Guys, so the escargot was good. It's a French onion soup. Oh my. I just died and gone to an onion shaped heaven. Oh my god, it was so good. Um, I'm so looking forward to the main now. Lovely bit of rare lamb. Bah. Oh, wow. Doesn't that just look like a work of art? Gorgeous. And here we have the dessert menu. Excuse the outline of the camera. And I just have to say the the lamb superb, <laughs> cooked to perfection. The uh, yeah, just I'm just lost for words there. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's just check in with Mel because she had exactly the same. What did you think of the lamb? 
I like the mixture of the two types, the pulled lamb and the lamb chop. And had the lamb chop rare, which was quite nice. How was the butternut squash? That was really tasty actually, surprisingly. Overall out of ten? Ten. Ten, ten, she gave her ten, ten. Right, um, I need to concentrate on to serve menu and uh, we'll film that when they come out. Stick around. Um, well, I don't quite know what to say. It's chocolate. It looks like a chocolate sausage. Or a sex toy, one or the other. So Manita's got the pear. She's completely lost it again. <laughs> My chocolate sausage keeps turning to attention. One down, two to go. It was only right that I topped up on uh, three drinks from Shaker's Martini Bar to bring upstairs to the pool. Um, as we're both allowed two, Mel got one, I got three. Seems a fair division. So, um, we are just gonna finish up our drinks and I think we're gonna head down to Howl at the Moon and then it's gonna be on to Bliss Lounge nightclub a bit later on because we're gonna make full use of the light start in the morning. We have absolutely no plans apart from going to the beach and doing my channel and my pages Christmas shoot on the beach. Exciting times, we're going to howl at the moon. He had a good time in there last night, but we didn't feel like we could really relax and let our hair down because we knew we had a yet another crazy early morning. But tomorrow we don't arrive into Ajaccio until half past 11 and we have absolutely no plans apart from going to the beach for our photo shoot and having a wander around. So the night is ours and I'm feeling a little bit tipsy for the first time this holiday. Considering I've got the premium plus drinks package, I've drank a grand total of, I think, seven drinks all holiday of the alcoholic variety. So um, let's change that. Thank you so much guys, good night.